Steve Robertson, or better known to his friends and music industry peers as Steve-O, broke into the business via the local radio route in the Keys in the late 80s. He graduated to on-air status with a DJ gig at the rock station Zeta in Miami. About this time, he met his future wife, Michelle. The two soon moved to Orlando as Steve-O was offered a promotion to program director at WJRR, the Central Florida rock station. It wasn't long before Steve-O used his intuitive ear to begin spinning unsigned music. Not long after spinning Shine from Collective Soul, the band was signed by Atlantic Records and achieved multi-platinum status. Next was Cumbersome from the local act Seven Mary Three, and soon after, not only did Atlantic Records sign these bands, but they signed Steve-O to an A&R position in 1996. Hey, Steve-O, man. So, if we go back almost 15 years, can't believe it, started with a little song called Cumbersome. Over the years, we've had a lot of laughs together. We've had nicknames, you're Steve-O, I'm Bunny. We've uh, drank many beers together, been to shows. We have kids. And now, my friend, we're getting old, and the one thing we have in common is a little bald spot right here. Rock on in our old age, man. Hey, I'm Haley from Paramore. Um, I hear that there's some people that have gotten together. I want to know something about Steve-O, Steve Robertson. Steve-O's been, um, he's been a and our records since we started. He's been our a and dude and, um, and great friend for a long time. And we really like working with him. Uh, we actually stayed at his house when we were recording, or when we were writing Riot. And um, the main thing that I remember is just being, it was really scary at night because it was really quiet. And I slept on a bed that was like hard as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> and um, But some good songs came out of it. So, you know, if any of you guys enjoy Riot, you have Steve-O to thank. That's right. I wrote all the songs. <laughs> <laughs> they were all inspired by his creepy house in Florida. But um oh my God. But anyways, Steve O rules and we love working with him and um, he deserves all the, the best and um high five. And that's it. <laughs> so um Steve Robertson, uh I'm not really saying this because I have to, because it's the honest to God truth. Uh there's not enough words that I can say uh, about the man. Uh, he's a lot of the reason why I'm here today and I'm in this thing we call the music industry. Um, he signed me going on around eight years ago and you know back then there were a lot of people that um, you know didn't necessarily understand what it was that I was trying to do as far as you know the artistry that I was going after but he did and he's always allowed me to be who I am and, uh, and gave me a lot of freedom to uh, be myself. Um, he's a brilliant a &R. Um, and he's, before he was A&R for me, um, you know, he's also my friend, uh, and I respect him very, very much, and, uh, he loves his job, he loves music, he loves the people that he works with, and, uh, uh he's an extraordinary individual, so, uh, I'm very honored to have him in my life, and, uh, like I said, I wouldn't be here in a lot of ways without him, because he signed me two times, <laughs> and the second time seems to be going really, really well. I love you, Steve. See you soon, man. And now for Steve-O's greatest hits. You have a fun. Girl, no, Cole, come here. You Daddy, we love you. You rock. You rock. We love you. And now let us welcome Florida Music Festival's 2009 keynote speaker, our friend, Steve-O. 